Hello and welcome to this video session. In this video, we are going to understand about the languages related to our computers. In general, every computer language, we can call it as a programming language. But depending upon how the code is running on this computer or machine, we can divide these languages into two types. One is programming languages, other one is scripting languages. Now, you, you need to understand that every scripting language is a programming language, but the way the code is converting that differentiates between the programming language and scripting language. So, both the programming languages and scripting languages, what we are using today, are high-level languages. There should be a converter to convert this high-level language into a machine code because my machine only understands the binary code. The converter in programming languages is a compiler. Compiler is a software that is going to convert my programming language into a machine understandable language. In my scripting language, then also we should have the converter. That converter name we call it as an interpreter. The software we call it as an interpreter. Picture. Now, if you come to the programming languages, you take a C, C++, it is a more syntax, so more structure, you have more grammatical aspects when you are writing the uh, compiler based or the programming languages. So more syntax, you have a, a lot of uh, semicolon, comma, double quotes, all those things. But those things, it does not mean that we do not have it in the scripting language, we have, but reduced syntax and it is tightly coupled every aspect of the programming in programming languages is tightly coupled you cannot really add a small small things as a separate uh, you cannot develop as a separate and then you cannot uh, add it as a uh, that uh, into this programming language but it is very easy to develop the code in a separate and to uh, uh, group it together in a uh, scripting language that's why we call it as loosely coupled so you can develop and you can add it whatever you want it whenever you want it now convert all code into a binary there are two stages in a programming languages one is compilation stage another one is a running stage at the compilation stage all the code has been converted into a binary and that is going to be run on the machine if you take a small example of a c code i have written to print hello onto a terminal all code is going to be converted into a binary first that is a compilation state and then only that code is going to run on the machine so there are two stages of running the code on the machine in programming language if you come to the scripting language now even even you can see that so there are more uh, procedure we need to follow and more lines of code we need to put in order to uh, uh, do a small small operation in the programming language but come here same hello i need to print into a terminal just a one line of code with a reduced number of uh, 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 whatever the structure we are using in a scripting languages here we are not going to convert a whole code into uh, one executable and then we are not going to run we are going to run statement by statement that means you can consider it as a line by line so single line is going to give me this hello into uh, my terminal it is very useful for interactive you want to do a small small operations go for a scripting uh, languages and if you want to do a bigger and uh, more complex operations you go for a uh, programming language yeah that's what the next point for a bigger and complex programs you are going to use the, uh, the programming languages for a small a faster and interactive you are going to use uh, the uh, scripting language for small, uh, smaller uh, code and faster uh, application. Now, when you are using the programming languages for a bigger applications, uh, really the, the speed of code running is faster in programming language. I'm talking about a bigger codes. When your code size is big, my programming languages are much faster compared to my uh, scripting language. Whenever your code size is less, my scripting languages are faster compared to my 
programming languages. Of course, we have a two stages here, and uh, in the compiled state, my compiler is going to generate extra a file that is called a binary file. So we'll be having a two files now. One is a source code, and another one is a binary file. When I consider these two files, the memory obviously is going to be a more in programming languages when you are going to run the code. But here, there is no intermediate code has been generated and that won't be visible in your system. So the memory consumed by the uh, scripting languages is going to be less. You can take the examples, you have C, C++, Java, C Sharp, uh, so many languages with uh, programming languages is concerned. And scripting languages is concerned, you know, Python, JavaScript, Perl, PHP, and Ruby, so there are so many other languages. Depending upon your application and the complexity and the interactivity, so either you can go for a programming languages or a scripting languages. Thank you.